everyone, this is Matt of the Team Builder Bros. Here, here playing, uh, Pikmin 4. I mean, yeah. If you see berries growing in loamy soil, feel free to take them. It's not like anyone plants gardens around here. And Make sure you plant a berry in the same spot as common courtesy. <laughs> Screw that. I'm just gonna take all the berries. Trainers often make Pokemon hold berries. Okay, whatever. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. The water Pokemon. Isn't there a uh, water gym leader in this region? Pretty sure he is the the water Pokemon expert. Fisherman Ivan. Send out freaking magic. This is my mortal nemesis. It's not very effective. Just took out most of his HP. No, it's not very effective. Is what he just freaking did. That uh, splash it. Didn't even give me all that much experience. What is the point of this? <sighs> Why is this guy in this game? It's just free experience? Just to annoy you? Why? Why did? Why would they put a person in this game who has three match cards? Like, I seriously am trying to understand this. Why? Alright, thanks, Fisherman Ivan. So now we're finally at uh, Rustboro, and I thought there was stuff there. Ooh. A secret passageway? X defend, which I will never use because I don't know, I don't like using those items. Maybe I will, I don't know. I just I always just sort of stockpile those X whatever items, never use them. Alright, let's heal our Pokemon. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Restore your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Just like people, they're male and female Pokemon. No dirt. Otherwise, how would they sustain their population? No one seems to have any idea how they're different. Really? Then how do you know they're male, male and female? What? That... What? Hold on a second. I have to sit back and... You know they're male and female Pokemon, but no one knows how they're different. Excepting the fact that it's pretty obvious how they're different. How do you know that they're male and female if they don't know how they're different? Like, it does, is there just some, you just look at them, you just know there's some aura around them that tells you? What? How do you classify something when you... Why would you classify two things as separate when you can't find any distinct distinctive characteristics between them? That's like you have an orangutan and another orangutan and they're exactly the same, but you're like, "Oh, this one is a I don't even know. I can't even think of any examples because there aren't any from real life." <sighs> anyway, the man next door gave you an HM. I use it to teach my Pokemon how to cut down skinny trees. Okay. My Pokemon has a naive nature, and my friend's has a jolly nature. It's fascinating how Pokemon have personalities. That can be summed up in one single word. Cutter's house. Huh. That determined expression, the limber way you move. Oh frick, get away from me, you creeper. You're well-trained Pokemon. You are obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait. Don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. You want it. I'm sure that you can put this hidden machine to good use. No, I don't want to see any of your hidden machines, man. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. And he just gave me a hidden machine. That hidden machine. One that can be used by Pokemon outside of Alan. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. For a second there, I was a little bit worried. 
They're expanding the city of Rustboro. My dad helped out. He made his Pokemon use cut to clear the land of trees. Okay. Even though you can't actually cut these trees down with cut. The old sailor, Mr. Brian, lives in Yeah. Let me go in here. Devon Corporation's workers live in this building. Thanks, bro. Whatever. This place is boring. Getting out of this joint. Pokemon changes shape. If one did that, I would be shocked. Why? They do it all the time. Pokemon gains experience battle, changing the way it looks. Yeah, it's called evolving. Everyone knows about it. From my own Pokemon, give them perfectly suited nicknames. It's my expression of our originality. Yes, that's it. Pekachu. And it says Pekka. Pekachu. Okay. Well, now I know what to name my Pikachu the next time I get one. Thank this man for his insight into the and creativity. If I go to the school, I'd be able to catch your Pokemon easily? No, because you'll be going to school. Did you know it's 2 and 2 battle? You Okay, why would they put that guy there when you've already, probably already, if you had two Pokemon, you would have already done a uh, double battle by now. It's not going to be easy when it's my fire type. Don't match up again. Okay. So basically, I'm fricked. Uh, who's this guy? Can I talk to this guy? Why oh, you be your new face around this part? Oh, frick you. I don't want to talk to you again. Who's this? Oh. Frick that guy. Pokemon get a trade from someone's grows fast. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go in here to this gym because I'm getting tired of talking to random townsfolk. I take, don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. It's because we. We, uh. Have Pokemon that. Um. Are of a single type. Yeah. Doesn't know any rock type moves. Oh, okay. Not even like rock throw. No, nothing. Okay, I'm just ember him to death so he can be the laughing laughing stock of all of his uh, other gym trainer friends. You were too good for me. Freaking right, I was. Oh, frick. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Okay, this is gonna be tough right here. In fact, here, let's save. <sighs> Whoop. Sorry. Actually, I moved the screen a little bit. Alright. Well. Guess let's jump right into this. <sighs> okay, electricity. Wait, aren't Geo Geodude are half ground? It's not even affected by. Okay, why couldn't it be burned the first time? Wait, but okay, Geodude are not even affected by. By electric moves. Why would use? I I'm not even gonna question it. Just whatever. And when does Torchic evolve? Like, <sighs> all right. Those freaking campers. Rock Pokemon need room to rampage. Wow. Alright. 